Hey, this is Chris. This is going to be part two of making the Stack the Deck envelope page baby book. I've already uh, made the Stack the Deck and added the envelope pages and covered them with cardstock. And then the next thing I will do is to tone down some of this white paper with ink and then I will be adding um, page mats with this cute swaddle from Hobby Lobby and then I will add these cute embellishments to the book. So if you'd like to see the books I made for my family earlier I have a link below of uh, two baby books for a boy and a girl. This one has been requested by one of my former co-workers for her new, her new baby. So this will be for a boy. I'm going to use this ink. It doesn't have a color. It's Hamilton Art Acid Free Dye Based. But it's kind of a teal color. I have this other blue, but it's I kind of used it up on my last little boy baby book. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this makeup brush. I washed it because I had Vintage Photo on it and Vintage Photo is a water-based ink so it washed out easily and then I just let it dry in the sun. So I'm going to cover my um, table with wax paper. And this ink is really juicy, so I'm going to use the wax paper to sort of offload the ink as I work. That's the first page, inside and out, and it just blends it in, putting the um, little bit of ink on there. It blends in the colors, so I will uh, continue doing the rest the same way. I've cut all the decorative papers to fit the inside, and. Uh, I'm going to edge them with blue and glue them on like that. I've edged all the matte papers with blue and pasted them, glued them on. I'm going to leave the center sections um, plain. I'm going to cover them with something else. And here's the pages here and here. I already started the cover. I got carried away and forgot to turn the camera on. I've added some uh, vintage lace here and a paper doily that's edged in blue and this adorable little graphic here. 
Um, I use this graphic from the paper pad. Place for baby's first picture and um, then the next thing I'll do is I'll make a, a place where she can write down his name and statistics. So I'm going through my bits and pieces and I have a few more of the graphics from the from the paper pack to use. I'm going to put this one here, I think. I fussy cut around the edge. And then I think I'll put this one here. They're too wide to go on the pages without losing some of the image. So they have to go sideways if I'm going to use them. I picked out some journaling cards from Project Life. They're from, um, I got them a Tuesday morning. It's just called Boy. It has 60 pieces for $2 and there's way more than I need. So I picked out ones that the colors went well and these are all um, they have journaling on one side that's my boy and you're so funny and boy oh boy the little bear on that side a little lion boys only it says there's some blue and white stripes you are awesome some uh, grid. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Here's a little airplane with a quote bubble. And here's a hello card. Little trucks. Best ever. Stars. I think you are awesome, smart, handsome, wonderful, all of the above. And here's some more grid paper. To put it simply, one of a kind. That's my boy. Do those. And then these larger cards. So I will tuck those into the book. I finished the little baby book. I put, uh, tied it with a ribbon with some uh, vintage lace, a little blue piece of satin ribbon fastened with a safety pin, and his name in alpha beads. So that slips off. And here's the book, the spine, and the back cover. And one of the cutouts from the kit. And we open it up and here's the first page. I put a note here so mommy knows this is especially for baby's first photo and she can put his name, his date, and his statistics here. And here's the cute um, paper from the kit. And so this is the first envelope flip. Here's a place for mommy to put a picture of her while she was pregnant. And she can journal about her pregnancy here. And some personal notes here with some journaling on the back. And this was one of the cutouts if she wants to use it. Um, she can write down the baby names they thought of, and then she can journal on the back. And some vintage lace from my grandmother's lace box. And uh, a little note to baby before you were born. So all of this is before he was born. And then we have the center section, and we have this cute little die cut. It's actually an embossing, it's not a die cut. It's a little bit of lace on it, and then I put a little ink on the high areas to um, to bring that out. And this one is a die cut. Both of these uh, are the ones that my uh, crafty neighbor lent me. I'll come in close on those. They're, they're really cute. And here's one of the uh, cut aparts that I fussy cut. And I uh, just edged it lightly in blue so it stands out in a Project Life journaling card. 
can go in there and then these two envelopes flip open. There's room here for all kinds of photographs. In here are um, some more journaling cards, Project Life journaling cards. Lots of little cards. I showed these earlier. And a couple of tags that I added. On this side, there are photo mounts. So there's uh, little circles, so she can use this template to cut a little uh, photograph circle like that, and she can stick that in different places. And then there's um, ovals with templates. And then there are square photo mounts that she can glue on there as she wants. These are some of the cutouts from the um, from the paper pack. Then we go to this page. More room for adding photos. More room for photos with this cute little baby here. And then this facsimile of the um, Western Union telegram. And then in here I put some embellishments that mommy can use. Little hearts, little circles, a couple of little uh, cutouts, some die cuts, labels, some uh, commercial die cuts, and all kinds of things. So she can use them as she wants. And here's a library pocket, and I just put a little journaling card in there with the baby's first and second name. And then a little uh, seal down here that I signed to show that this was handcrafted. And there's the back of the book. And there's the cute little baby book that I'll be letting my friend know that it's ready for her now. So try making an envelope book on a uh, stack the deck binding. It's lots of fun. You can do all kinds of things with them. Not just baby books, but like the uh, one I showed earlier of my little travel trip to Death Valley. Or uh, you could do recipes. Use it for holding recipes and stick the magazine. Recipes you tear out of magazines and stick them in the pockets and then paste your favorite recipes on the pages. There's all kinds of things you can do with this this kind of journal and they're, they're so fun to make. So thanks for watching and have a great day crafting. Bye-bye.